Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and I'm an intuitive astrologer. I combine my knowledge of astrology with my intuition and this will be reflected in this video. So today I will talk about the upcoming new moon in Leo which will happen on the 4th of August 2024 and I know that I'm a little bit late because uh, as some of you know I have been moving to a new location and you can see I'm filming outside. We have beautiful weather today. It's around 26 degrees so actually it's not too bad because now I'm living in the north of Spain which is going to have a bit of colder weather because my body really told me that it wants to cool down and it wants to be in an environment that is more in the nature so as you can see we are surrounded by trees mountains and stones and you know I'm gonna tell a little bit about what what I've done in the past few weeks if you don't want to listen to that you can straight go to the introduction of the new moon so you can skip and I will put the timestamp below okay so yeah I have been moving from Malaga and we went with the car so we bought a new car with seven seats so we can pick up people or we can offer a shuttle service because literally we are in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and we need a service for to do pickups okay or we're gonna rent uh, transport to bring people to the house and some of you have asked about um, about the house or houses there are two houses so there's one small house this is where we're going going to live and then there is a, a big house and this is where all the rooms will be rented and this will be rented for only retreats we decided to um to leave the idea of the bed and breakfast and we're going to fully go for a spiritual retreat center which means that we are going to organize retreats so meditation and astrology retreats that we're really busy building right now so i'm building a website and we're also going to make a schedule and i'm going to make workshops for astrology okay so you can learn astrology and also meditate on it because i'm an intuitive astrologer and i know some people say oh you don't talk enough about astrology or something like this i've for me astrology is about the blueprint right and then you have to uh, put it into practice so this is where you need um, some action and you need to work on your karma you need to work on everything that is indicated in your chart right instead of just reading the degrees or the squares like how many degrees this is not uh, it's not putting you to action right it's about the understanding that we will do in the retreat so I will teach you all about astrology okay and we're going to manifest and meditate according to your chart so that's going to be super cool i'm really excited about that so we're gonna do our own retreats but you know if you're like hey i'm a yoga teacher or i'm also an astrologer or i'm this or that and you want to organize retreats you can actually do it here okay you can actually uh organize retreat in this place and i'm going to make a video i'm going to show you around i'm gonna show you the whole house so you know what to expect okay so you know the views and the rooms and what it looks like and uh, what the possibilities are so that's going to be super interesting it's interesting that there is a there's some movement here at least we have some traffic which is like a plane <laughs> We do have a few neighbors though, but very few. <laughs> There's like maybe four houses around here and some are empty as well. So there's not a lot of life around besides birds and animals. We've seen like a ferret, so it's really cool. Um, yeah, what else? I think that's about it. So yeah, it was a, a huge move. I went to Sweden. I did a meditation retreat there and it was just a lot lately my life is going so fast and you know when it going so fast that you don't know how to integrate it like it's happening all so quickly that i need time to process what is actually 
all happening in my life and uh, this is also because I closed the cycle in Vedic astrology okay I'm a Western astrologer but in Vedic astrology I closed a huge cycle and I went into a new cycle which is uh, taking 20 years so in, when these cycles when you have this this point of change and I do look into that for my clients who do readings with me when you have this change everything in your life is shifting okay everything can shift well you can see i changed last october right and a lot of things have changed for me okay i met someone i was you know i'm i'm living in the countryside <laughs> i'm gonna uh, organize retreats and all these things so yeah life has been uh shifted a lot for me and um, I think it's ready for the next step that not only I'm talking to people through the camera, but also we'll have retreats over here and I will also do readings over here. So if people organize the retreats, they can also book a reading with me on the spot in the nature. So it's really, really cool. Anyways, this new moon in Leo, I know very last minute, it will be at 12 degrees and 34 minutes. Okay. And... I think it's a pretty nice new moon okay it's not it, it doesn't have any crazy placements right we've been having some tough months it, it's been going up and down right I don't know if you can all feel it but the energies are going a little bit up and down so one day is really good and the other day it's a little you know it's a bit of mixed energies and on this day on the 4th of August there's going to be Mercury which is stationing retrograde okay and as some of you, you know, when there's Mercury retrograde, you have to watch contracts. You have to watch what you're signing. Just double check it unless you have Mercury retrograde in your own chart. Okay, that's changing everything. So then uh, still you, you have to look what you sign, right? <laughs> this is really important. Don't get like, oh, yeah, I don't have to check that. Yeah, always check that. But yeah, just be a bit more careful. The same with electronics. If you buy them, make sure you get a guarantee so you can bring it back if you need to. Okay. So this new moon at 12 degrees in Leo, and I love Leo. <laughs> First of all, happy birthday to all my sun sign Leos. I hope you're having an amazing time. Leo season is all about self-expression, okay? It is ruled by the sun. So this is where we feel amazing. This is where we can enjoy the summer. Well, it depends where you're located, right? But this is time for self-expression. It's time for a bit of fun as well. And this is because this new moon is also in a sextile with Jupiter and also with Mars. And they are in a conjunction in Gemini. And Gemini is a very outgoing sign, right? It wants to socialize, it wants to talk, but it can also make you a little too chatty <laughs> because it rules the third house of communication. And, you know, if you have a lot of air, because Mars is going to fire up the air, so it's gonna be a lot of restless energy because Gemini is ruled by Mercury so it's all about the mind right so your mind is gonna run quite fast and uh, there are gonna be a lot of thoughts and a lot of ideas so I do recommend you to write them down with Mars there though the good thing is that you can take action on it so write it down and yeah think about all the things that you would like to do uh, the upcoming year or the upcoming months okay and the third house so Gemini rules the third house this is also about traveling so a lot of you are gonna go on a trip um, and you're gonna feel like you want to explore a little more if you're gonna go on a trip around this day right maybe you want to do some excursions um, you want to do some sightseeing instead of laying down all day which is possible if you would just have these Leo placements because Leo is okay with relaxing okay Leo fires up can do a lot of stuff but it can also relax right it's like a lion a cat <laughs> they can chill and they can also if they are fired up they can do a lot but if uh, they need to relax they can do that as well but with Gemini energy it's going to be a little bit restless it's going to be like curious and besides that mercury is in virgo and when mercury loves being in virgo right but it's retrograde so 
you're going to internalize your thoughts a little bit more, okay? You're going to reflect on your thoughts a bit more than usual. So you will internalize your ideas, but also this Mercury is in a conjunction with Venus. And Venus is about beauty. So you will have a lot of creative expression when it comes to your speech, when it comes to your writing, and it's gonna be well thought through because whether there's a retrograde, it doesn't always have to be bad. It can actually be something really good. You're gonna think about something a bit more than usual. So definitely a step forward. You're gonna mm, go a step forward. Venus is also in a square with Uranus, okay? And Venus is the planet of love and self-love and money and Uranus is everything unexpected, right? So we could say unexpected love is coming in for you, unexpected money is coming in for you, but also it can separate things unexpectedly, okay? Because with Uranus you cannot predict what is happening. So you might have sudden income, sudden mm, people want to gift you things because Taurus is about materialism. It is about money as well. So there could be some expe unexpected expenditures, but also income. And it's hard to grasp with Uranus what it's going to be for you. Um, yeah, so the North Node in Aries is in a trine with this new moon. So your ideas, your creative expression, your thoughts could be part of your new destiny, part of your new authenticity, because Aries is all about your own authenticity. It rules the first house, okay? So a lot of you are working on yourself, your woundings, and that's because Chiron is, has been in Aries and is really helping you to heal all those wounds that have been stopping you from moving forward, okay? Um, what else can I tell you? Venus is in a trine with Chiron. Mm -hmm. And this is about healing the heart, healing also your speech because it's in a conjunction with mercury so maybe you're going to work on your throat chakra maybe you're going to work on your heart work on receiving work on give and receive have it in balance okay um i know i'm feeling that some of you are watching or maybe um and don't get offended but you're people pleasing like you want to do a lot for a lot of people because you you have such a good soul and you want to be there for many people but you also should not count yourself away in the process and you should sit down and relax sometimes okay to come back to yourself because you count and you matter as well and this is something I'm also learning right I had to quit my readings for a few weeks because <laughs> it was really overwhelming and I've been to so many things just the last few weeks, met a lot of interesting people, but I have to take it easy because there's uh, just a lot going on. But I was so, so excited to make this video. So yeah, I decided to do that. And from now on, we will have videos again. And ta -ta -da! I almost forgot 9,000 subscribers. So I did promise to do two giveaways okay two giveaways and um, I'm going to announce the winners next month during the next video of the new moon in September okay so keep in mind this is when I will announce the two winners of two half an hour readings so if you want to participate okay um, you have to put in the comments giveaway and then a message to the community. I just want you to write something positive because I want my channel to be all about positivity. So if you have a message for everyone who is watching and something that is all connecting you or something wise you have to share because I know so many viewers that are watching are so wise. There's a lot of wise souls and 
if I look at my clients, wow, I have so many beautiful clients that <laughs> are, all, are also teachers, right? A lot of them are also teachers, also intuitive. So I know you have something powerful and something beautiful to share. So give away in capital letters and then a message, okay? Anything, anything you want to share. So let's go to all the signs, okay? Let's start with Aries. I'm gonna put on my laptop Aries, okay. Aries. Well, for you, Aries, this is very, very nice, this new moon. And I'm gonna tell you why. This is because uh, the new moon is in your fellow fire sign at 12 degrees so check in your chart if you have your sun your ascendant or your moon at 12 degrees because then this new moon is in a beautiful trine which is gonna support and uplift you you're gonna have a lot of wonderful ideas for creativity for self-expression okay if you are into acting or you you have a creative hobby or job you can have like a breakthrough moment with an idea that's going to help you put to put yourself on the map because Leo is ruled by the Sun and the Sun wants to be seen it wants to shine so Aries you check where in your life you want to shine more you're gonna have some really really brilliant ideas so it's gonna be super exciting then we have jupiter and mars this conjunction in your third house so a lot of you are traveling and this could be like a cultural trip you could go to to some cities um, because Gemini is very curious it wants to know about cultures it wants to learn it wants to um, it really, mm, yeah, it wants to learn about new um, inventions, innovations, anything, right? It's just very curious. It's gathering the information in order to share it with other people. Okay, that's why a lot of oop, <laughs> a lot of people with a lot of Gemini energy will be in journalism. And you, Aries, this year you have the benefit of. Um, a fast mind okay you can have a fast mind with a lot of ideas you could this is the year that you could launch like a book you could launch papers research papers it's gonna be a lot easier for you than usual okay Venus is still in the fifth house so again this is also a good time for romance so if you want to spend some time with your loved one this is a beautiful time to do that um, if you want to meet someone new, also this could be the time where you're traveling. And if you're single, you might meet someone on your trip. So that could be super exciting. Then Mercury in the sixth house, it's going to station retrograde. Okay, it's going to be for a little while in the sixth house. So watch out for miscommunication with some of your colleagues. Okay, you could have some misunderstandings uh, with each other, but you know. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. And also before you put the ideas on the table at work, just make sure that you think about them, that you really revise them so you are sure that what you're saying, what you're mentioning is what, um, yeah, what you're backing up yourself. Venus in the fifth house and is squaring Uranus in the second. So watch out with overspending, okay? On romance, on children, because the fifth house is also all about children. So wonderful time to spend with your children. This is also a time where you can get pregnant if that's what you want. If that's not what you want, then be careful. <laughs> I have this beautiful secret garden cards, which I'm gonna use. Look at that, so cool. And I thought this is like, this fitting this environment very well. Ooh. I need to also calm down myself. <laughs> I'm looking forward to have some good sleeps. Strength, look at that Aries, strength. Don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. So don't let other people define who you are. 
and also don't let too much mm, toxic energy in your garden in your aura in your surroundings that are going to prevent you from really growing okay so be strong say no when you have to because sometimes you're saying yes and you're excited and you're saying yes and now is the time to think things through okay so not say yes too quickly move a rolling stone gathers no moss so some of you are also moving or you're gonna move as in uh sports doing more sports okay being more active some of you will start doing hikes or maybe you're doing a trip where you will do a hike but you're gonna be more active uh this month okay more active anyways that's my message for you my amazing aries uh, if you watch the intro or maybe not, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, I'm doing a free giveaway and uh, I'm going to do two half an hour giveaways. If you want to participate, write in the comments in capital letters, giveaway and write a beautiful message or wisdom to the community because I want to keep this community positive. And also you need to be a subscriber in order to win this challenge. So thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited to do this message from the nature and very soon I'm going to show you the house for the retreats. If you're already interested in participating in meditation and astrology retreat or a goddess retreat, um, you can write me an email that you find in the description box below. Same with readings, okay? So thank you so much, Aries. Um, it's great to see you again. I'm really excited. I'm going to record videos for you. And until next time, let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. So for you, we have this new moon in Leo in the fourth house. And the fourth house is all about family, okay? It's about family. It's about your home. And Leo is is full of self-expression okay so it's time to connect with your family to have a warm and lovely time with them and there might even be some finances some financial support from your family or you are supporting your family financially okay and this is because this new moon is in a sextile with Jupiter and Mars in the second house okay and the second house is about your money and income possessions so maybe you want to give away some of your furniture or you want to gift or some people are gifting you furniture or money or something for your home for your decoration in the home okay um some of you are literally moving right you're moving around the 4th of august and uh, as I said, there is Mercury retrograde, so be aware with contracts and read everything very carefully or any contract that you're signing, just make sure that you read it well. And if you buy any electronics for the house, because you want to decorate the house, you want to make everything more beautiful, maybe you're going to buy some stuff. If, if some of them are electronics, just make sure to get a guarantee so you can bring it back if it breaks. So it's not a big deal, right? Mercury retrograde doesn't have to be like really bad. It's just it makes us a bit slower and we're going to be more internal, right? We're internalizing our thoughts a little bit more. But Taurus, this year is great for money, earning money, okay? Jupiter in the second house can bring amazing opportunities for making money. And Mars is emphasizing this, especially if you have a Taurus rising, okay? However, Jupiter is also very generous. <laughs> so it could be that you're earning money and you're spending it equally, okay? So be aware uh, of the give and, th give and take, okay? Because you're, you maybe you want to spread it and you want to share it with everyone because Jupiter is a very generous planet and it's not really making you calculate everything or being very strict with your money, okay? This is more when you have Saturn in the second house, you know, then you're going to be more like, Oof, oh, I don't want to spend all that money. I want to spend little bits, little bits. Okay. So if people have Venus and Saturn 
together, you know, there is some karma with the money. There could be more fear attached to money than when you have Jupiter. You you feel like you owe always money. <laughs> and this is how you manifest that as well, right? Because you're feeling so happy and comfortable with your money that it's just people also just want to give things to you, right? It works to both ways. Um, and then we have... Venus, which is still in the fourth house as well. So again, make your house organized. Uh, make it a place where you have, where you feel like you can express yourself, where you feel very creative. This is super important. And we have Pluto retrograde at zero degrees. So if you are in very early Taurus rising, you will have Pluto close to the midheaven, which is going to turn your job your career upside down okay you could be well look at this i was first working online i had a digital marketing agency and now i'm building that down and i moved to a place over here i'm not a taurus rising right different indications in my chart but this could be similar then you're suddenly in a new place and you're doing a completely different job okay than what you were doing before so <laughs> Uh, Jupiter is in a square with Saturn okay so um, there is some karmic there are some karmic lessons with your friends so it's maybe better not to share how much money you're earning or to lend money to friends at this point because of Saturn in the 11th house and it's squaring your uh, Jupiter in the second house okay let's get you a card I only have fairy cards and garden cards because I thought it is reflecting this environment really really well so <laughs> look at that the hermit find be a mentor take a break from society so with with this new moon in the fourth house maybe you want to take a break right maybe you want to take it easy and not like overdo it or do too much so you're gonna take a little bit of a break strength and the star look at that you're finding um it's almost like you're gonna find yourself again parts of yourself that you have lost you're gonna find it again and this has been true strength and opportunity because maybe you had so many obstacles lately and now you're finding your strength and your inner power again to move forward and this is gonna bring the rewards that you were looking for so look at the positive look at that this person is looking at the positive so this is gonna be super important okay looking at the positive side of everything so that's my message for you my amazing Taurus um, just want to announce that I'm gonna do two giveaways because I passed 9,000 subscribers and I'm super grateful so I'm gonna do two free half an hour giveaways I'm going to announce the two winners on the next video for the new moon okay in September so yeah leave a comment below capital letters giveaway and a message of wisdom to the community because I think that there's so many wise people listening and you for sure have so many beautiful things to share so please write something nice and beautiful in the comments if you want to participate and I will announce them next month okay so thank you so much Taurus and don't forget you need to be a subscriber otherwise you can't win the the whole how do you say that <laughs> I don't want to call it a competition because it's not. But yeah, um, thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you yeah, next yeah. time. Thank you so much. Let's move on to Gemini. So Gemini, sun, moon and rising. So for you, we have this new moon in Leo in your third house. Let's see. This going to be tricky. So third house is actually a house ruled by your sign, right? So this is about traveling. So some of you are traveling around this uh, time. You have Venus also in the third house and it's in a square with Uranus in the 12th. So maybe you have some trouble sleeping lately, okay? Maybe you, you have some trouble sleeping because you have to pack stuff or um, some of you are buying a car 
um, but if you do okay if you're buying any type of transport make sure that you uh, make good agreements because mercury is stationing retrograde this day which means that things are a little bit more foggy when it comes to communication okay so it could be that you're misunderstanding each other a little bit so make clear understandings write it down uh, record it or whatever you need to do to make to make the understanding among each other better Jupiter and Mars are in the first house. So you're going to have a lot of energy. You're going to want to move forward, backwards, left and right. This is going to be you, Gemini. You're going to have so much energy. And Jupiter is around 14 degrees now. So check if you have your ascendant, your sun and your moon at 14 degrees um, in Gemini. Okay. And this is beautiful because that means that this new moon is also in a sextile. Um, with your sun, moon or rising, okay? Because there's just a two degree difference, which is gonna boost you, lift you up. It's going to be a time where you're gonna be adventurous, you're gonna explore, and you're gonna take a little bit of a risk maybe. Maybe you want to try something new, okay? So yeah, Saturn in the 10th house is making you work harder than usual, okay? So maybe you, um you you have all these new ideas but <laughs> you you kind of hear everything here it's so funny i'm still getting used to this place like i've i haven't been in the nature i haven't lived in the nature this is the first time i'm living so far away so when i hear something i'm like whoa okay i hear something <laughs> it's really funny so Saturn in the 10th house makes you work a little bit harder than usual, okay? Um, but sometimes it could also be that you're going to be fed up with your job, fed up with what you're doing. And Jupiter in the first house is pushing you in a new direction. It's saying, okay, you're done with this and it's pushing you towards a new beginning. And then just a butterfly passed. And if you know, butterflies are transformation, Gemini. So transformation is literally something that you're working on right now, okay? So let the wind blow you away because the wind was just going like this and let the universe transform you, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, okay? Um, yeah, and there could be some communication with your friends. Chiron in the 11th house makes things a bit more complicated sometimes when it comes to your friendships. But right now, you definitely could have some really good conversations because this new moon in the third house is in um, a trine with uh, the North Node, okay? I'm trying to explain a bit more why I'm saying things. Because people said, oh, you're not explaining the astrology. But I am. It's just I'm not naming it like it is, right? Nord no trying this or I'm telling a story. But always the story that I'm telling is based on the astrology, okay? But I'm trying to maybe point it out a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that a bit more. So uh, yeah, you're learning a bit the astrology uh, while I am speaking. And uh, yeah, if you are also interested, I'm going to do meditation and astrology retreats so if you want to learn more about astrology or you know because you're such a curious sign right ruled by mercury so you're quite good at picking up these kind of things so if you would ever want to be you know in a astrology and meditation retreat and the house is literally it looks like i don't know it looks like a house from the hobbit um slash harry potter slash lord of the rings so it makes this really cool astrology environment there's like the stars inside so yeah i think that is like the coolest and especially in winter it's gonna be really cozy right it's gonna be like the fireplace and the hot chocolate and we have so many cool ideas anyways i'm drifting off let me get you a card. <laughs> okay, do some research. So maybe you're going on a holiday and you're, you're, you're going to do some research for your trip. 
or maybe you're doing research while you're traveling okay you want to know everything about the place or in general you're doing research about a study that you would like to do you know maybe you want to start a new course this winter and you are orientating what it is that you want to study so yeah give yourself some time to to do yeah to understand better what it is that you want to learn because you sometimes you can choose Gemini let me know if that's you but sometimes you you have a hard time choosing because you think everything is so interesting that it's just really hard to pick one thing I want to know everything right and sometimes you have to choose something because otherwise you're gonna be you know learning different things like a jack of all trades you got the power look at you so you have the power to change things and you know this little elf or this little fairy is on a very thin leash is walking really high but looks at the same time she's comfortable and look at all these butterflies we just had a butterfly passing by so you're taking some risks right like some risks that are gonna be for your benefit they're gonna be bringing you towards new destinations okay then i have a birthday so you might have your own birthday if you're a sun leo or a sun virgo and you have a ascendant in uh, Gemini so congratulations if not there could be a birthday that might change things for you okay that might change the way you look at things maybe you're traveling for a birthday or for a wedding or you know yeah so basically that's my message for you my amazing Gemini's if you like this video subscribe to my channel and if you want to participate in my free giveaway because I surpassed 9,000 subscribers you can leave a comment below capital letters giveaway and I would like you to write a, a wise message for the community because we have so many wise people that are watching I know a lot of you are intuitives are strong personalities and you have so many beautiful things to share so please write a beautiful message for the community and uh, i'm gonna let you know the winner next month during this new moon video for september okay so write the comment below so you don't miss out on this free half an hour giveaway thank you so much everyone and i hope to see you next time let's move on to cancer so cancer sun moon are rising for you, we have this new moon in Leo at 14 degrees, sorry, 12 degrees in, uh, in Leo in your second house. So second house is about your valuables. It's about your money. It's about your self-worth. So you're going to be a little bit more like, you know, feeling like you're worthy of maybe more. Maybe you undervalued yourself and you're going to just have a check with yourself like, hey, maybe I should ask a higher price or maybe I should position myself a little bit higher in work. Maybe you feel like you aren't good enough or maybe you feel like you could do better, right? Because Chiron is in the 10th house and sometimes you feel like your ideas maybe are not good enough or you're not valued well enough in the job and you're gonna change that you're gonna put yourself higher up and you're gonna be like you know i deserve better i deserve better and leo is gonna give you this sunshine this boost to increase your confidence okay uh, some of you are buying new furniture maybe or new materials um, uh, or selling maybe you're selling stuff from the home uh, because some of you with the sound note in the fourth house you're moving and you could be moving for a job okay some of you are moving for a job especially if you're a cancer ascendant okay jupiter and mars are in a sextile with this new moon in the second house and jupiter and mars in the 12th house indicate that you are growing spiritually like a lot so you might suddenly have interest in uh, spending more time alone and working on meditation on yoga uh, maybe you're reading a lot of books and you're very interested in reading them in your own time in the garden like here uh, in your home or just you know by yourself on the beach you just want to be 
soaking up a lot of information that you're going to use for your own spiritual growth. And for some of you, you even feel like maybe you want to do some voluntary work or you want to, there are some things that you would like to give to the world uh, or gift. And this is all too, because you're feeling like you want to share with the universe. We have Uranus in the 11th house. So your friendships, you know, you're attracting more quirky friendships, more people out of the norm, okay? Or people who have very innovative thoughts that are really building you up. And um, Venus is in the second house. So there could be like sudden changes in your friendships, but also watch out with making, having discussions with your friends about money, because maybe you're not fully in alignment with each other okay when it comes to selling certain things or doing certain things look at that everything is okay and I want to just be quiet for a moment okay because some of you thought that maybe you weren't going to be okay or things were really hard but you know what look at this blessing you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. And the key is for you to open your heart because then you can feel again. You can feel your alignment and you can feel which way you need to go because maybe you've thought like, you know, life is moving slow and uh, you're waiting for the next step. But sometimes standing still can also be a blessing. It's preparing you for a time where things are moving fast, okay? Sometimes you need a little bit of a, of a break. <laughs> See, goodbye to the old, hello to the new. So what is happening? Because Jupiter is in the 12th house, you are breaking down karmic cycles. So when Jupiter is moving in your sign, you're ready to take off, okay? So take the time to relax. Take the time to go internal and really look within, okay? And there we have, who do you need to forgive? So maybe there are some people in your life that you need to forgive at this time. Are there people that, that you feel you still feel anger towards? Because that could block your heart as well when you're angry towards certain people. So when you can forgive, you're not always doing it for them. You're also doing it for you. So this heaviness is gone because the anger is stopping you from moving forward or the pain, or all these things. And people don't always do things consciously, right? People do things because they think it's the best at that moment. And I was in a retreat. Yeah, I was in a retreat lady, lately in Sweden. And the Swami said, you know, some people, you don't have good and evil. And I love this, actually. You have good and ignorant. So some people are good or you know, are aware, awakened, and they are aware of what they're doing. And some people are ignorant. They haven't reached a level where they are able to see what, how they are harming people, okay? And uh, everybody has little pieces of ignorance. So we all have little corners that we don't see about ourselves. And we have a lifetime or lifetimes to figure it out to become better to become the better version of ourselves okay so that's my message for you my amazing cancer if you like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment below how this resonates with you also if you want to participate in the giveaway because i've surpassed 9,000 subscribers you can leave a comment below capital letters giveaway and a message for the community um some wisdom some words of wisdom because i know a lot of you are so wise and Outside of my wisdom, I would like to you to share something of your own wisdom, okay? And um, also, if you would be interested, uh, I'm soon going to put the schedule for the retreats. But if you already would be interested in retreats and you say, like, this day would be best for me this month, you can write me an email also, okay? If, or if you have groups and you would like to specifically have a retreat for a group, so meditation and uh, yoga or meditation and uh, goddess retreats or astrology retreats. Uh, this can be arranged, okay? So you can send a, uh, an email and we can book for groups, okay? 
Uh, so yeah, that's my message for you. And don't forget to subscribe because if you do, if you're in the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber to win. So thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you next time. Let's move on to Leo. So my lovely Leos, you sun sign Leos, I wish you a very very happy birthday. I hope you're having an amazing time and um, on your birthday it's a wonderful time for manifestation okay so when the sun is on your sun and you are ruled by the sun so your manifestations will be even bigger because the real new year for you starts on your birthday and the energy that is the blueprint of your birthday is counting for the whole year so it's a pretty big uh, it's a pretty big thing, okay? And this is a very nice new moon because this new moon is in a sextile with Jupiter and with Mars. And for you, this is in the 11th house. And this is a beautiful placement, right? Because this house originally is ruled by Aquarius, uh, another air sign. And Gemini likes to be in this house, right? This is about socializing. You want to be out and about. You want to meet people. And Leo, with Venus in the first house, you have this super magnetic, shiny glow, okay? People cannot walk around you. They're going to see you shine, okay? Especially Leo rising as well. All Leos. All Leos are going to shine around this time, okay? You're going to have this amazing aura that... It's going to attract love to you. It's going to attract new opportunities. Networking for you this month is going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so go out and about and talk to people because you will meet the right people and they're going to connect you to different people that are going to bring you higher up in business, give you more opportunities or lasting friendships. Okay. Mercury uh, stations retrograde today in the second house. So watch out with signing contracts, buying electronics, get a guarantee. Let someone double check your contracts because that's very, very important. And um, Pluto is at zero degrees in the seventh house, right? Or if you're sun or moon, um, Plu uh, sun, moon, Leo, Pluto is in opposition with your sign okay only if you're between zero and five degrees so that means that there will be a lot of projection happening okay projections from you or projections from other people uh people can maybe sometimes <clears throat> mis misjudge you let me have a drink ah okay you know, people can misjudge you sometimes, you know, see you in a different way than what you actually are. And uh, I know in general, Leo, sometimes you have this because people, uh, they, you know, you are the sunshine. So you can enter a room and sometimes people are uncomfortable with that. But you are there to do that. You see? Oh, wow. Express your individuality. Look at that look at that all the colors it's about expressing yourself it's about following your creativity and not being afraid to share that with the world okay not being afraid to share that part of yourself allow your true self to shine because you're awesome i love this text because you're awesome affirmations manifestations right this is what we just talk about so write down to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire use positive affirmations so this is time to manifest for you okay manifest what it is that you would like to attract in your life sun maybe some of you would like to have children okay and your chart right now is not indicating that that should be a problem unless that is something in your own chart, right? Because this is a general reading. <laughs> Some people forget it. If you want to have a private reading, you can book that with me. Vegetarian. Like some of you are going to start a vegetarian diet, okay? And as you have seen on my channel, I'm never here to force anything, anything right i always allow people to choose their own diet because each diet is according to where you're at spiritually it's to where you your what your body is asking from you and there's no shame in 
eating meat if you feel that you need that, okay? So you are going to decide what is best for you. If you grow more, grow and grow spiritually, you will not want to eat meat anymore. And I can confirm that I used to eat meat. It's been a long time now and it came very naturally. It just gradually started happening. Like I started decreasing it and then I didn't want to touch it. And then I ate fish and then I didn't want to touch it. And that's why I always say if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can't force people. Never. They have to internally feel that they want to change something. Because if you're forcing it to someone, they are going to feel it like it's an attack, right? And everybody has their own authority to have their own free will to make uh, their own decisions, right? So anyways, but some of you are going that direction because I feel like a lot of people are watching are on the spiritual path or, you know, or you're at least going to eat a lot more vegetables that are going to help you with your spiritual growth, okay? But don't feel guilty if you eat meat or fish or whatever that you decide what's right for you, okay? Uh, that's my message for you, my amazing Leos. Um, if you want to participate in the giveaway, write in a comment below, capital letters, giveaway, and then write a, a message of wisdom to the community because I like to share the wisdom with everyone. So yeah, write a message of wisdom. You can also uh, book a reading with me or if you're interested in participating in one of the upcoming uh, retreats, okay, <clears throat> astrology retreats, all these things. You can email me already with dates that are suitable for you. We are going to make a plan for the year so we can take that into account if you want to come with your friends or you have a group or you want to come alone. We're just gonna uh, pick the best dates uh, soon so we can take that into account. Anyways, Leo, I'm wishing you the best month ever. Glow, be happy and shine through anything. Because your light can heal a lot of people, okay? Thank you so much for being here. And let's move on to Virgo. So Virgo, sun, moon and rising. For you, we have Leo in the 12th house. And that means that it's kind of time to relax a little bit, okay? So you're most likely relaxing and working. Relaxing and working. Because this new moon is in a sextile with Jupiter and Mars, which is in your 10th house. And the 10th house, if you have Jupiter there, is amazing for your career. So uh, go after your dreams. Go after what it is that you want to achieve because this is your career year, okay? This is where your career is going to explode, especially Virgo rising, okay? Now is the time to take the risks if you want to. However, we do have Mercury stationing retrograde, okay? So launching something new, I would wait until after. But if you're already in the process with your job, now is a good time because Mercury is in your sign to overview something that you've been working on. Like to, to have an overview, like go back and maybe uh, revise something or do some optimization that's going to help your project, your work, okay, to go to the next level. The south node in the second house is kind of eating your money. So <laughs> be aware, be careful with your money because the south node is cutting off, cutting you off from your valuables and from your money, okay? And um, maybe even you want to lend money but make really good agreements because Chiron in the eighth house is going to make it a little bit difficult. So yeah, be aware of that your dreams listen to your dreams because your dreams are around this new moon are going to indicate stuff about your work your meditation you could get visions in your meditation that are going to give you ideas for work so grow all flowers must go grow through the dirt look at this cute secret garden cards I thought it was so suitable because right now I'm filming outside in my new place in the nature outside <clears throat> and uh, I'm soon gonna have a video to show you around to show you around the place discover look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun 
So it's time to be curious, to discover and to act on it when your season is starting, okay? Your season is starting very, very soon. So take some rest, focus on work and find the right balance. That's really important right now. We have Venus at 29 degrees um, in Leo. So it's about to come in your sign where you will become more magnetic. And um, there could be some unexpected trip happening for you also because Uranus is in your ninth house and it's squaring with Venus. So maybe some unexpected trip or people unexpectedly uh, are going to visit you. So yeah, that's my message for you. Let me get a sip because I have more news. Don't go away. Yet. Because I surpassed 9,000 subscribers, which I'm so, so, so grateful for. I'm going to do two half an hour giveaways. So if you would like to win that, you can write in the comments, capital letters, giveaway, and a, a, a message of wisdom for the community. Because I know a lot of people, you have so much to share, so many beautiful words, and I want to give you a space to do that. And by the next video, so the new moon video for September, I'm going to announce two people who won the half an hour giveaway, free giveaway, okay? So that's my message for you. My amazing Virgos, work is going to explode. So keep going, keep resting. You're going to do great. And I hope to see you next time. Let's move on to Libra. So we're here for Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. For you, we have this new moon in Leo in your 11th house. And this is a beautiful placement, right? This is a time for you to socialize, to connect with people. Uh, maybe you're going to attend a creative workshop, uh, network, meet people. And this new moon is also in a sextile with Jupiter or Mar and Mars. Okay, they're in a conjunction in the ninth house. So you could be traveling overseas, traveling far away, attending a conference, or attending certain workshops abroad where you meet a lot of people, like a retreat or um yeah for like i said for work or something like this um it's a great time for you to talk to other people connect with other people and with jupiter and mars in the ninth house uh, for you it's a great time to explore freedom freedom of traveling you're gonna realize that you don't need that much to be happy okay ninth house is about exploring spirituality through free freedom to exploring different cultures so it's gonna be a very interesting time for you very interesting okay um venus is also at 29 degrees in the 11th house and it's squaring uranus in the eighth house okay so there could be some unexpected um money going out or money coming in like you could have some unexpected support from friends Maybe they're saying, oh, you know, we will lend you the money or here's the money because maybe your bank account is blocked or some papers are disorganized and they're just going to help you with it. Listen, be alert. The soft chiming bells call to nearby fairies. Look at this card. I thought it was so soothing to the surroundings here. It's like secret garden cards. So it's a really good time to listen. And I know it's hard because Gemini, uh, Jupiter and Gemini and Mars is like more about speaking and communicating. Um, and it is a wonderful time for you to study and learn, but also make sure to listen because there might be some people who are going to give you um, some clues and some keys to how to do your next steps. Okay. self-care tend to your garden make sure to love yourself to take care of yourself because i know libra in order to balance things in order to create harmony sometimes you give part of yourself away and then you're starting to lose yourself and then you're starting to resent people right because you've been giving too much so make sure and then the result is that you don't give it all because you're like you know i'm gonna put a wall up and i'm not gonna give it all right and these are the skills and the skills can never work if they're like this they have to be here balanced 
This is how it works best for you. That's why a lot of you Libras, you function best in relationships. But if you're not in a relationship, you function best within you, masculine, feminine energy, give and take, okay? Yin and yang. For you, you need to be balanced, okay? And love yourself because you deserve to be loved, okay? You deserve to take care of yourself. And this is super, super important. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. And you know what? This is Jupiter in the ninth house. You should not control anything. It's about freedom. Look at these dolphins. They just swim freely. They don't think about it. They just go. They just go for what they want. Okay? <coughs> so travel, be open, be curious, learn as much as you can and let the universe guide you to where you need to be. Okay? So that's my message for you, my amazing Libras. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to participate in my free giveaway, write in the comments below capital letters, giveaway and a message for the community, some words of wisdom that are going to boost up and lift the community that we have on this beautiful channel. And I do this giveaway because I surpassed 9,000 subscribers, which I'm super, super grateful for. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio sun, moon and rising. So for you, this Leo new moon is going to be in the 10th house. And 10th house is all about your career. It's about be visibility and being seen. So it's a really good time for you to put yourself on the map and to show the world that you are out and about. You know, what are you working on? What are you doing? Show people uh, a little bit more about yourself because I know Scorpio, sometimes you can be a little bit closed, right? And you don't want to put all your private life or anything uh, out there, right? That's that's a bit difficult. But sometimes you need to show yourself in order to sell something or in order to, you know, um, to, to keep people updated. It, it can help you in some cases, right? And you are naturally not a sign that's going to shout of the roofs and be super present. You are more like magnetic and quiet, right? And if you speak, you speak with full passion and full words of wisdom. So uh, now it's time to put yourself on the map in the job or with your social media or whatever it is that you do. Show the world what you can do, right? Sometimes you, you can also uh, be more, a little bit more outgoing with that. Jupiter and Mars are in the eighth house, okay? So Libido is a bit higher than usual for some of you Scorpios. Also, um, there could be money support coming from a different source, okay? This could be um, the government, you're getting your taxes back, or there could be some insurance or something could be beneficial for you, okay? You could get some support. This could be also inheritance, um, yeah. And some of you want to write about the occult as well, or you want to share information about... Um, I don't know, spirituality, or you're reading a lot of books about spirituality, but there is some kind of passion growing in you that you want to share things, okay? Um, so definitely a new job, a new career, uh, but be aware because Mercury is stationing retrograde today that you read your contract very well, okay? You could be going back to an old company. This is completely fine and if you have mercury retrograde in your chart as well this is completely okay during mercury retrograde okay let me get you a card we have uranus in the seventh house in the square with venus in the tenth house okay so there could be some unexpected um support from your partner when it comes to your career or um yeah, maybe you you want some space in order to grow in your career or you're going to do it together, but you could be having some disagreements. So uh, with your business partner or your romantic partner, okay? So be aware of that. Get some exercise. So some of your Scorpios, you're going to need to walk a little bit more, um, be out and about, do some sports activities. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. 
So it's to become mentally stronger, right? Spiritual teacher. Look at that. Some of you are doubting to make your career something spiritual related. There's a lot of people here. You see all these rabbits are really listening to this little fairy. And I feel that you have a lot of wisdom to share, okay? So maybe it's time for you to take that step. And it's time for you to, to put yourself out there. Like I said, like maybe you're a bit shy or you feel like it's stupid to show yourself out there. And I know <laughs> I had to get used to it myself, right? Like to be on social media, but you will get used to it. Talking to a camera, you will get used to talking to people and... You know, even though naturally you're not like that, you can learn anything and it will be, become more comfortable. Sun. Some of you have a son, okay? Maybe your son is being uh, uh, is sick or uh, having some issues because we do have Saturn in the fifth house. So there could be some uh, problems with one of your children, you know, at school or with their health or something like this. Um, yeah, but it says your son is watched over and protected as he explores this world. So make, do a little prayer for your child if that helps. <laughs> could be a son, could be a daughter, okay? Could be children in general. But they need a bit more of your attention. Vegetarian. So it looks like some of you are going to follow a more stricter diet. Could be a few days, could be a month. Maybe you want to do some fasting, some of you to clear up the karma, to clear up energy. And you know, it's always really good to do that before a new moon. Because when you fast before a new moon, you clean the energies before you can plant a new seed. So yeah, it is very, very useful. Summer. Well, a lot of you are in summer right now. Depends where you're at at this time. But um, yeah, as you can see, I'm also here in summer. I was living in Malaga before and uh, that was summer all year and after a long time I'm going to have an actual winter so the first time I'm going to be in a place where there will be winter time so I'm curious to see how and experience that after yeah after a long time of summer 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 I've been in many uh, sunny places in my life and I think it's time to explore the seasons again and enjoy that as well. Anyways, Scorpio, that's my message for you. Uh, if you want to participate in my giveaway, because I surpassed 9,000 subscribers, I do two half an hour giveaways. Um, and you can write in the comments, capital letters, giveaway, and a message for the community. So some words of wisdom that you would like to share with the community. You can write that in the comments. And also you need to be a subscriber. Also, if you're interested in uh, one of the retreats, we're working on the site now. But if you know you want to participate in a meditation, astrology retreat, a goddess retreat, or you know, a yoga retreat, something like this, we can already take your planning into account, okay? So you can always write me an email and you find it in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. I know this video was last minute, but I hope you can still make it in time. Thank you so much. Let's move on to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, sun, moon and rising. For you, we have this beautiful new moon in your fellow fire sign in Leo. So if you have any planets in Sagittarius, so sun, moon or rising in Sagittarius uh, around 12 degrees, you will be highly impacted by this new moon and it will really give you a beautiful boost, right? Because this new moon will be in your ninth house. So a lot of you will travel uh, and this could be traveling close but most likely further away because ninth house is more about traveling overseas okay so you might be traveling to a different country and yeah explore all the facets that it has to offer and leo is a very curious sign that loves to express that loves the sun right so it most likely is a warm place because leo likes to be in the sun right and if you have that in the ninth house you'll like to travel when you're going outside of the country or far away you would like to most likely go to the beach and if you're close by you maybe want to visit a city doing some small city trips 
Jupiter and Mars are in the seventh house, okay? And they are in a sextile with this new moon. So you might be traveling with a partner and you're really reconnecting with each other, right? There might be more romance coming between the two of you. And if you're single, you actually might meet someone on your trip. So keep your eyes open, Sagittarius, because you're in the year of love, okay? You might be attracting true love in your year, okay? So... Uh, it happened to me. I had I'm a Scorpio rising. Now it's going to the so uh, it's going, it's turning. So Sagittarius rising. You have Jupiter in the seventh house, and my partner is also a Scorpio rising. So we're both um, we're both have Scorpio rising. So we had uh, Jupiter in the seventh house during the Taurus Jupiter in Taurus. So you know it's definitely possible. Uh, keep your eyes open for love okay. for you know all around you so yeah and i always say the jupiter is indicating when you could meet someone but you need to be open and ready to see it because sometimes your heart is so closed off that you don't even recognize the soulmate that is next to you okay this has happened to me for many times that i didn't see who i had next to me because i wasn't ready Okay, so I met people that were definitely great connections, but I wasn't fully ready. And I didn't know that at the time. I probably would have been pissed if someone told me that back then. But now more wisdom and more work on myself and a lot of self-development, I know that I wasn't fully ready. Sagittarius, nine of summer. So yeah, a lot of you are in summer now. Wishes are coming true. Dreams fulfilled a magical time in life. So you could be experiencing a beautiful time, a beautiful month of August. It's going to be really nice for you. So enjoy it. Enjoy all around you. Even though maybe the family or the home situation might be a bit more difficult. But yeah, enjoy all that is around you. Okay. There, I'm getting now a very contradictory card, but it says walk away from dishonest associations so maybe people want to profit from the good things that you have going on in your life or maybe people want to kind of use you you know or or um, be around you in all your wealth of of abundance you know abundance of good stuff so be aware and filter very well who you let into your life because i want I always want to see the good in everyone, but not always people have the best agenda, right? They want to have what you have because they don't understand that you they can have it themselves. If you work on the blocks in your body, you can have whatever other people have, right? You can have that. And why do you want it? It's because you can have it, but you don't work on it yourself. So you have to work on it yourself so you can have what other people have instead of taking it from them because it's not their theirs to take right it's not you yeah <laughs> okay everything is going your way a good company to work for so some of you are going to get a new job as well we do have mercury retrograde so it could be that you're going back to an old company if you do sign something make sure to read everything very carefully okay that you read everything precisely yeah or work can just go well things are going well for you i feel like it could be a really good month for you so just enjoy it enjoy this month and uh before i go um i surpassed 9,000 subscribers and i'm so grateful for that i'm going to do a free two free giveaway so half an hour readings if you want to participate in capital letters in the comments write giveaway and a message to the community. So something inspiring, something like you want to share with the world or something, you know, write it down. And uh, I'm gonna announce the two winners in the next video. So the new moon of September, that video, I'm going to announce the two winners. So make sure to participate. And also, as you can see, I'm in the nature. I'm living in a new house two new houses, one for me and one for retreats. And I'm gonna organize different types of retreats. So if you are interested in an astrology retreat, meditation, astrology, goddess retreat, yoga retreats, just let me know. And um, 
you know, we do it for groups or you want to organize a retreat, that's possible. You can write an email. You find it in the description box below. I'm working on the site. So uh, you, you're you updated on the retreats that we organize. But we are also open to do retreats for other people. And we arrange the food and all these kind of things. So yeah, super excited. Super exciting times. So that's my message for you, my amazing Sagittarius. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much. Let's move on to Capricorn. So Capricorn, sun, moon and rising. For you, we have this new moon in Leo in your eighth house. And the eighth house is all related to your money. And this is not your money. This is other people's money. Okay, this is the government. Uh, this is insurances and you might actually get money back because Jupiter and Mars give you a bit more luck with sixth related uh, sixth house related cases and it's in a sextile with this new moon in the eighth house so it could be related to work you might get an extra commission or an extra bonus that are really gonna benefit you some of you want to invest money make sure to make good investments because mercury is retrograde uh, and investments are not directly related to mercury but it is about reading the lines very carefully right so if you want to make an investment just make sure that you read everything carefully or you wait until the retrograde is over okay end of next month would be better a sip of water because I've been talking quite some time. Um, more clients, more work is definitely on the map for you. So uh, make sure to promote yourself, make sure to talk to people and that you kind of show the world what it is that you're doing. It's not the 10th house. 10th house is, is more about outside visibility and the 6th house is about getting a new job or more clients in the job you're already doing, okay? You can extend and expand your client base if you're self-employed or you have your own company. And otherwise, you're just having more harmonious relationship relationships with your colleagues. And with Mars now, with Jupiter, it's a good time to do some workouts, okay? It's time to do some uh, running, some gym time, some hikes. Okay, I'm getting pregnancy. And talking about that, because Venus is in the 8th house and we have this new moon in the 8th house and people, libidos are going to be a little bit higher and you could become pregnant, okay, around this time because Uranus is unexpected. So if you don't want to, be very safe, okay? Connect with nature. Look at that. You're rejuvenating and inspired by spending time outdoors. Well, I'm not a Capricorn, but I can definitely tell you that it's very beneficial for your health, it's very for your mental health, for your whole being. So maybe you can do some sports outside as well, Capricorn. Uh, the good thing is Pluto is now in Aquarius, has been in Aquarius. It will go back at your sign very, very shortly. But overall, you are done with all the extreme Pluto placements. Okay, you've had your fair share of Pluto and now you are, you can enjoy a little bit, okay? This huge transformations. So only the people who have late degree sun, moon or rising will still have this Pluto impact. But if you are up till, uh, let's say, 25 degrees, you're kind of done with Pluto, okay? Congratulations, you made it and I'm so proud of you. Healing Healed Healer. Some of you did a lot of healing, did a lot of self-work in the area that Pluto is in, okay? Depending where Pluto is at. And you are healing people with whatever you healed yourself with. Because the wounded healer can only, you know, is wise, knows the wound, can heal because knows what it feels like. If you're going to, you know, if I'm going to help people with a drug addiction, I don't know what that is like. I don't know how that struggle, what that's like, right? So I cannot help people heal with that. I help people transform themselves with karma and all these things and break karmic patterns because I've been through that myself. And this is how I can help other people. 
equally, right? So this is your strength. Where's your weakness that can turn into a strength? Because if you take all the steps, you can teach other people on how to do it. Everything is okay. So Capricorn, yeah? Maybe you feel like, you know, cycles are happening in your life, but you can break a huge cycle here and now. That's why I talk about it because eighth house is about cycles and you can break massive, massive cycles. And this could be with your partner, this could be with your work or with your children because Leo is about children. It's all working out in a beautiful way. You have to connect with your heart. And if your heart is open, you know exactly what to do, right? If your heart is blocked, it's more, it's more difficult because then you're ruling with the mind and the mind has its own life. And the real you is connected mind with the heart. Soul, mind, body, mind. <laughs> it's gonna help you uh, to go to the next level. So keep going. Connect with your heart, follow your passion, especially when it comes to your work. <clears throat> Take a new diet routine because this is really important for you now. Do some sports and um, enjoy your everyday routine. Make it beautiful, okay? Um, I surpassed 9,000 subscribers, Capricorn. So I'm going to do two free giveaways of half an hour. You can participate by writing capital letters. Uh, in the comments below, capital letters giveaway, and then you can write a beautiful message of wisdom to the community. Okay, and I will let you know in the next video, the new moon in uh, September video, I will announce the two winners. So thank you so much for participating. I so, so appreciate you and I hope to see you next time. Let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. So for you, we have this new moon in Leo in your seventh house. So you will be highly impacted, especially if you have planets. So your sun, moon or rising at 12 degrees in Aquarius, because that would make an opposition with this new moon. Okay. And there could be a little bit of a, a push and pull with your partner. Okay. With an opposition, you have to find the midway. That's the best point. But sometimes you have to experience extremes. So there might be some, you know, you're giving a lot of attention to your partner and it's only you're, you're withdrawing. You're like, no, 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 actually, I don't want to give that much attention. I want to focus on myself. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of unpredictability in you right now. Well, in general, because you're ruled by Uranus and Uranus is very unpredictable. Um, and not necessarily this is something you're aware of. You know, you just have these ideas in the moment that you want to act on and that can come across as unpredictable. But also this is out of the box thinking and this is bringing new things into the world. You are seeing things that maybe other people can't see in that time. So they want to grasp you, right? So sometimes you guys dealing with people that are controlling, especially now with Pluto on the ascendant, okay? There could be, you could become a little controlling because someone is projecting this unpredictability back to you or the person is trying to control you because Pluto is teaching you about power, control and all these kind of things, okay? But you are going through so much transformation that, you know, take with both hands this Pluto transformation because it's going to help you and you can clean up a lot of uh, energies. Watch my Pluto conjunct the Ascendant video. I have it in my natal chart so you can check that video to know more about it, okay? Saturn in the second house is restricting your money a little bit, okay? So it's about working hard and making good and healthy steps towards saving money and not overly spending it. Because you have Neptune, which likes to spend, and Saturn, which likes to keep. So bring the nice balance into give and take. Not too much giving and not too much taking, okay? Um, this new moon in the seventh house, okay, can bring a new partner for you. This is definitely a time where you can meet new love in your life, okay? If you're single, if you're in a relationship, this could lead to higher commitment, 
moving in together, having a child together, okay? Because you have Jupiter and Mars together in the fifth house. So you could get pregnant or decide to expand the family. With Mars and Jupiter, if you're pregnant, be careful, okay? Because it could, I'm not saying miscarriage, okay? But you could become a little bit doing too many things. So take it easy, not too active. That's just my advice based on the astrology. Um, but yeah, you can meet someone very, very prominent in your life that could make huge changes in your life, okay? Everything's okay, okay? So there might be a lot of changes happening in your life, which is a little scary. But uh, I just want to tell you that everything is okay. And I'm looking at this image and I'm feeling some of your Reiki masters. I don't know if it's you, write it in the comment, but I'm talking to some Reiki masters or people that do Reiki. And um, now it's time to explore your hobbies, do some workshops, learn as much as you can. And maybe at some point you're going to change and do something more with your hobby as a work situation. Oops, I don't know what's happening inside. Some things are <laughs> falling. <laughs> Easy does it. Easy does it, okay? So go with the flow. Even though things look hard, it's best to go with the flow and know that there's nothing you can do. Well, sometimes you can do something, but there are things that you can't change. You can't control. You cannot hold on to. Some things you have to let go in order to move on, okay? in order to get something better. Sometimes you need to make space because if you're holding on to something, uh, to someone that doesn't want you or to some place that is not good for you anymore, how can you explore something better? You have to take risks sometimes, you know? You have to, even though, you know, people told me I'm crazy. I left my whole life behind in Malaga. I moved to the north in the middle of nowhere, but I have to be here. I don't know why, but I have to be here. And you have to follow your guidance. Admit your true feelings to yourself, okay? So it's time to see what it is that you have to let go of. Uh, so you can make space for even better things, for even better situations. Children, like I said, some of you are want to expand the family and also it's a beautiful time to spend with your children and to connect with them and to have some good heart-to-heart -heart conversations okay so that's my message for you stay here because I'm gonna tell you about the free giveaway I surpassed 9,000 subscribers and I'm going to do two half an hour free giveaways for everyone who's watching. So write in the comments, give away capital letters and a message of wisdom because I know a lot of people who are watching are so uh, intuitive or empaths there. You're really good at, uh, you have a lot of wisdom yourself. So instead of me sharing the wisdom, I would like you to write a message to the community. And next month during this new moon, I'm going to announce the two winners, okay? so. And you need to be a subscriber in order to win. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Let's move on to Pisces. Pisces sun, moon and rising. So for you, we have this new moon in Leo. Are you coming up? <laughs> in your sixth house. And the sixth house is all about your routines, your work and... This new moon making a sextile with Jupiter and uh, Mars. And this is in your fourth house. So a lot of you are going to move. You're going to sell the house, buy a house. But I do want you to make sure because we have Mercury stationing retrograde. And this means that writing contracts, signing contracts, reading contracts, um, you have to be more careful because you're gonna read over the lines. And this is when Mercury is making a retrograde motion, things become more internal. You need to take more time to read over the lines, okay? It's becoming a bit more complicated. So take your time uh, before you sign something. And if you buy electronics for the house or for your work or something, 
uh, get a guarantee. So you can bring it back just in case it breaks, okay? This is very important. The North Node is in a trine with this new moon in the sixth house. So you are working towards earning more money. But Chiron sometimes makes it a bit difficult, okay? It makes it more painful. It feels like money is going out or there's not enough money coming in. But um, the more you work on being your authentic self and valuing yourself, okay, which is the second house, the more money you can earn Pisces, okay? But um, if you're going to sell a house, by the way, I would wait until uh, end of September when mercury is direct again because mercury does like to be in virgo it's a very good sign for mercury all right easy does it so let yourself be guided to your next step this is also a time to maybe change your diet do some workout okay and uh, maybe you're gonna do some workout from home or you're gonna start working out or working even from home okay Patience, okay? Patience, please. So some of you are feeling like you want something new, you want new things to happen, but Saturn in the first house is not making things very, very easy and fast, right? First house, Saturn, is making things slow and you're going to have to put in a bit more effort to get stuff done. But this is teaching you patience, responsibility and maturity, okay? So depending on the level you're at, okay, because it's <laughs> it's not, uh, I'm not saying that the, you're not, it's just depending on the level you're at, this is, uh, you know, Saturn can work with you. If you have all these qualities, actually it can bring you quite good stuff, okay? But it's teaching you lessons that you need to learn according to your karma, but because Pisces, you are the last sign in the zodiac. You, this is where you break down karma. Okay, so if you manage to resolve these karmic cycles, you can really get rid of a lot of karma. Okay, holiday. Like some of you are going on a holiday. Okay, it might be that you still have to work a little bit on your holiday, so be aware of that. And we did talk about it before, the dietary changes, okay? Because this new moon is in the sixth house. Whoop, the cards are flying. What is this? Mm, attention to details. So make sure to uh, don't skip the details too quick, okay? Don't overread the details. This is super important at this time. Also, Uranus is in a square with Venus. Venus is in the seventh house or just under the seventh house. I almost want to count them with the seventh house because it's like the cusp. It's in a square with the Uranus. So that means that um, you could meet someone unexpectedly on your trip or, you know, mm, when you're on the way or you're stopping somewhere on the way, you could meet someone, okay? Um, you could even have communication from someone from the past, okay? Because Mercury retrograde is in the seventh house let go so let go and sometimes you have to let go in order to make space for things to happen okay travel so some of you are going on a trip and during this trip you are able to let go a lot of your issues your problems and you're gonna see things from a more positive perspective okay so that's my message for you my amazing Pisces um, just to let you know I'm surpassed 9,000 subscribers so I'm gonna do two giveaways a half an hour giveaways uh, write it in the comments below if you want to participate capital letters giveaway and a message of wisdom for the whole uh, community so because I know a lot of you are very wise and you have so many beautiful words to share so please share them with the community and I'm going to announce the winners the two half an hour reading winners in the next video the new moon video in september so make sure to watch that video and uh, if you're interested in participating in the retreats we are working now on a schedule so uh if you want to come with a friend group or you want to uh you want to you're interested let us know your availability so we can adjust our times or schedule to that because we're going to do meditation and astrology retreats goddess retreats okay 
and potentially yoga retreats. I have a lot of friends who are yoga teachers, so we can make that happen as well. And if you want to host a retreat, okay, uh, you can also write me. I'm going to soon post a video from the house so you can see what it looks like, okay? And that's gonna be online in the upcoming week. Uh, hopefully <laughs> if everything goes well and uh, you will see the this beautiful environment it's perfect for retreats it's so beautiful so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time thank you so much